sir i am rejra my presentation is on the topic micro welding and a contents in this presentation are introduction basic mechanisms of micro machining micro grinding tools effect of cutting fluid in micro machining micro grinding versus macro grinding conclusion and finally references then uh, introduction micro grinding is a tool based machining process that creates micro features in hard and brittle materials Uh, it gives good precision and surface finish. And micro grinding is used typically for machining of cylindrical components and grooves with small dimensions, and to obtain a flat surface with very fine fine finish. Most important advantage of micro grinding can be uh, inferred as minimization of uh, burr formation is a main issue that comes up during a mechanical micro machining operation. And major application areas of such grinding process is in. semiconductor industries medical biomedical industries and the aerospace industry this process is also widely used in hardened steel and ceramic mold manufacturing this is a image of micro grinding setup here the arrangement of the uh, work piece and a tool and all shown properly then basic mechanism of micro grinding micro grinding shares similar aspects of conventional grinding but the difference is mainly the minimum chip thickness and tool edge rate radius in case of micro grinding process micro grinding is done using a grinding wheel consisting of an abrasive particle and a matrix performance of grinding wheel depends upon the type of the abrasive particle used size of the grid uh, hardness of the abrasive used bond material and finally wheel structure As the diameter of the grinding wheel decreases, the effects of higher flowing forces and the grinding wheel deformation become more predominant in micro grinding operation. The efficient and reliable micro grinding tools with the diameters down to 13 microns are manufactured by using electroplated diamond grids, grids in carbide and micro shanks. Dressing and turning of the grinding tools are not necessary in case of micro grinding operation. And the chip accommodation space is also relatively large, so the wheel loading phenomenon can be eliminated. Then, micro grinding tool requirements for the ultra precision machining tool are: uh, it should require a precision, high precision, smooth and backlash free motion, uh, low levels of spindle levels, high static or dynamic loop loop stiffness, and long thermal dimensional control. Diamond and CBN, that is cubic boron nitride. are the two most widely used abrasives in micro grinding operation there are two types of diamond which is naturally obtained and the second one is synthetically manufactured both of these uh, diamonds have high wear resistance heat conductivity hardness and low coefficient of friction uh, it also possesses high chemical reactivity with some metallic materials diamond abrasives are used only for grinding of the brittle non ferrous materials such as silicon glass and ceramics Uh, di diamond grains are coated with suitable materials that prevents the oxidation and thereby improve the grinding ratio. CBN, that is cubic boron nitride, can be used for grinding of ferrous materials. Recent works on micro grinding have covered different processes to develop various micro grinding tools with extremely small diameters up to four micrometer that is achieved till now. Resistors created variously shaped grinding tools. Utilizing the block electro discharge machining techniques such as circular shaped, triangular, V shaped, and square shaped tools, the images of these tools are shown here. Then, effects of cutting fluids in micro grinding. Use of cutting fluids has been widely accepted in the conventional grinding because of the intense heat generation during the process. Uh, grinding fluids are mostly used to reduce the heat generation, minimize the friction, and to minimize the thermal damages. Compressed silly air was used to disperse the heat generation in micro grinding process initially, but nowadays uh, water-based coolants are widely used for micro grinding. Micro grinding versus macro grinding. We have already told that. Uh, micro grinding shares a similar aspects of conventional grinding, but the main difference is minimum chip thickness and uh, Uh, tool edge radius in case of this uh, micro grinding process. Then other differences between uh, macro and micro grinding are in uh, ratio the depth of cut to grit radius is fifty to hundred in case of macro grinding, but it is point one to one in case of micro grinding. 
then flowing effect is not significant for microgravity but it is significant for microgravity uh, friction on the interface uh, in microgravity it is coulomb's friction only but in microgravity it is coulomb's friction plus flowing uh, friction rate angle is constant negative in microgravity but it is variable negative in uh, microgravity material removal rate is very high in case of microgravity uh, that is 10 raised to n to 10 raised to minus 1 but in micro grain it is 10 to -1 to 10 to -3 mm cube per mm second then conclusion micro graining is a tool based machining process that creates micro features on hard and brittle materials this process can give very high surface finish and it has wide range of applications including fields such as aerospace and medical industry and also semiconductor industry Development of newer micro grinding tool has been also a very favorite topic for the researchers, and the minimum tool diameter of uh, four micrometer has already uh, achieved. And the abrasive most frequently used in micro grinding operation is diamond. And cutting fluids have shown a great impact on the process. And the investigation on more environmental friendly cutting fluids. micro grinding can also be explored it is an uh, area of user works related to uh, this field then these are the references thank you